So uh, we're going to call this uh, episode Stream of Consciousness. I'm with my amigo uh, Rooster Vance. Uh, you guys may have seen him around the politosphere over the last several weeks as my friend has gone absolutely freaking viral. And he told me he was going to do it too. It's kind of funny when somebody can call it in the air before it goes. And um, yeah, man, it's been a real pleasure, dude. I kind of didn't know what to think of you at, at first, right? You know, visually, you look like an old cowboy. Look a little rough around the edges. No offense. I look a little rough around a lot of my edges. But uh, we have battle scars, right? We've been there, done that. So it's been cool, man, to connect with you and, and to get to know you. And, uh, you know, you've been genuine and you've been a great connection. So, yeah, man, I'm just happy to know you and hang out with you and, and talk about Len. You know, I, I think people, they don't. Something about Richard Vance that I've noticed is that I have a vision, right, for Hiveline of what I think will happen if this thing continues to mature, right? So I'm just preaching the gospel. And then when somebody sees it and they have the exact same strategy in mind, that's just like, oh, you're here. It's like we're a piece of the same machine. Uh, but as we come together and we drive this madness, then uh, you have the same philosophy. Like, I think we'll end up buying everything, absolutely everything everything why not well like we talked about earlier you know we we come into the market we're in the real estate market and we understand that in order to dominate our market we need to be able to dominate marketing and and dominate the attention right we know that the number one kind of commodity and for businesses and uh, these days is data and people's attention so for us to be able to become excellent marketeers and uh, content creators is the ultimate goal for any brand because the, the future, that's where it's at, okay? Lifestyle content will be the number one thing to sell any service or product as we head into the future simply because it can, right? You, you want to be able to buy land from a guy who lives and breathes land. You want to be able to buy a car from a guy who lives and breathes cars. You want to buy a baseball bat from a guy who lives and breathes and makes them by hand in his garage that's where the future is because social media is the ultimate form of marketing so as we move into the future whoever dominates that space will simply move into uh the the different spaces you know the different markets real estate retail this show is sponsored by hive mind crm it is more than just a CRM. It is a real estate and business mastermind that comes with an all-in-one CRM. You can have unlimited websites and users. You can call, text, RVM, and email all in one user interface. And you can set up custom automations for any type and multiple businesses. 65% of companies start using a CRM system within the first five years of business. Once implemented, the hive mind will save you on marketing, give you more time, and make more money. One of our users had his first $100,000 a month using our system in June. We want to see you automate and accelerate your business. Text us at 210-972-1842 for future meetings. And of course, to get our $1 course on how to make more than six figures on one land deal. You can schedule your free demo today at hivemindcrm.io. And, and dominate and disrupt those markets. We've seen that happen already, you know? <laughs> So that's the, you got an old cowboy over here that's talking about AI and market disruption. And that's what's surprised everybody. But the fact is, is that I've been in Austin 20 years. I was born in a small South Texas town, but I've been in the big city a couple of minutes now. You know what I'm saying? And I've been around the block, but I kind of have gone back to my roots per se. But I brought a lot of information and experience and wisdom in, uh, back with me. And we've started a lot of businesses and a lot of different areas over the last 10, 15 years and always uh, figured out the marketing on my own. So now uh, launching, you know, Rooster Vance is essentially a marketing and media company in the early stages, you know, and we've, we're starting to see the success there. And it's a proof of concept for what we're going to also be able to do for other companies and help us get into other spaces besides real estate, right? And so like, that's what you said. We were laughing because we said we want to buy everything. We want to be in, you know, media, real estate, uh, food, beverage. We want to be interwoven into the fabric of the Texas community and culture with our businesses and our brands across the board, right? I think that's what it's all about, man. And, and something that people are not paying attention to is that you can literally uh, take over an entire region, right? And it doesn't have to just be like certain zip codes or cities. 
it could be an entire state. And so I have a theory that using the exact same strategy, you should be able to copy and paste to the other 49 states. Yeah. So that to me, that's indicating that we're going to buy everything. And I'll tell you why. Let's say you're a private equity fund, right? And you go out and you raise a hundred million dollars or a billion dollars, whatever number you're proud of. You, you go out and you, you allocate that into a certain amount of land deals, right? And then you you, tr- you turn them and uh, they could be either letting them sit on the market, developing. There's a lot of things you can do as you're turning them, right? So you're just allocating capital to where it's most important, where you're going to get the most uh, yield and the ROI. And that's a good game to play. But the game that we're playing, right? If, if our, if, if what we're, we're not, what we're moving is earth, right? But that's not the product. The product is the traffic. So if you're running traffic, you can just aim it at anything. And if we just so happen to aim ours at land, and then that your body, that person, that fund's buying power that has a billion in there, it kind of the, it's kind of irrelevant compared to the traffic because if you think about that in terms of like advertisement and and YouTube stars, uh, the the people on YouTube that get monetized like big time, they make disproportionately more than the, all the people in Hollywood. That's right. That's right. The the money, the old school way of the way media, the media business, you know, in the marketing business, selling advertising to corporations and serving up the marketing, you know, as ads in radio and television and print, like it's been done in the past, has obviously been changing and everything's, you know, moved online and heavily to social media. And that's where we come in, you know, we've, uh, we use the land and real estate space and a few other little businesses that we're starting up the last few years to to figure out the marketing figure out you know uh, like with my success in launching the rooster vans uh, you know persona in itself that alone was something that was engineered to do what i did you know and we have formulated you know a recipe for this and so now we have a, a an entirely new way to bring product services artists to market uh, because we've used the money that we've, you know, from the real estate, pumping back into what we're doing. And it's afforded us, you know, the ability, just like y'all have learned so much from three years of spending money for yourself and your clients and students on y'all's ad spend, right? Y'all have now spent millions of dollars on ads and you've learned, right? Uh, we've done the same thing doing it with uh, organic lifestyle content and then converting that to monetization and branding, right? And so now, with us kind of combining that together with the ability to dominate a cultural space uh, in, within social media within a region and to dominate you know the paid ads space when we combine what we're doing together uh you know it becomes basically the most powerful marketing machine that there is to date uh, you know <laughs> that's how, exactly what it, that's exactly what it is uh radio and television no longer have the viewers or the listeners you know the viewers have gone to uh short form content medium form content which is what we put out the listeners have gone away from radio to you know their their spotify playlists which include you know our podcasts playlists as well right and so that's where that's all and so the shift in media and and the consumption of media is plain as day, but all or a huge amount of businesses and small businesses still operate their marketing machines in the old way, right? And the fact is that if you ever stop evolving in marketing, then you're going to get behind because it is a constant uh, evolution right now, right? A constant keeping up, staying ahead, staying one step ahead of the next guy. So it's not about fighting what works. It's about building a machine that constantly pinpoints what works and then begins to, you know, set trends, not only, you know, uh, be able to kind of focus on what might occur in the future but set trends on that within their space by dominating the social media and paid ad space together as a whole right so that's what we're doing in land and we're about to shift to some other things and 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 prove uh prove the concept of what our media company can do in uh, a combination and then from there the world is our oyster you know no listener to this podcast yeah it's your oyster because we don't even want it you know, something about roosters, something about myself that I noticed that we have in common is like we, we like to make money. We like to put together cool, interesting deals, but we don't we don't love money. Like we don't say, I mean, I'm going to buy two matching, yeah. 
Bigfoot monster trucks and two matching Lambos. It never, we, that conversation has never happened between us after hours and hours and hours of uh, no. having these types of conversations. And that's something that I wanted to bring him on here for too, was to mention that uh, the, the thinking is, is so aligned with what Daddy and myself originally had en envisioned. It's just cool to meet somebody who already had all that in them before they even showed up because it, uh, it's like, yeah, yeah, of course, bro. But not very many people see it because they don't have all the pieces of the puzzle. That's it. Well, what ultimately it goes back to, uh, you know, creating your brand and becoming an expert at something, creating a brand and continuing, continuing to get better. Right. And once you've dominated that space, if you still have ambition, you need to then then ultimately what you're able to do is is spread that knowledge. And that knowledge can result in more transactions and growth and open up more doors than, you know, you, you'd ever realize. And you'll have the, you'll have that choice to walk through those doors at that point. And that's kind of how we met. We were just helping people. We were doing things, trying to open up opportunities. And, and it, and it's, it certainly did. Right. And you reached out, tried to help me with a couple of things in the beginning and that fruited into a pretty mutually beneficial relationship. And now we're seeing the power of what our, you know, our different companies can do together. And that's starting to get really interesting. Yeah, man. Uh, I think everything you, you have done and are doing is amazing. I think us pairing up together to do land deals, it only makes sense because I know there's a lot of land people that are very secretive. And I'm like, dude, if I, if we're friends and you're the guy that lives in Amarillo, as soon as I get a 3,000 acre ranch, guess what? I don't, I don't even know if we have a hive guy in Amarillo, right? Right. So it goes directly to you. And now everything that goes through Amarillo, you're in charge of that whole entire region. Yeah. We just blast everything to you and you get first pass on it. And if you say, no, but there's nothing I can do with it. Yeah. Cool. Do you have a buyer? You're not interested. Let us know. Bam. We're on to the next guy. Yeah. Um, and that's pretty much the game, man. So I, now you, you're pulling stuff up in areas where, you know, I can do, I can move them for you and vice versa. So if we, if you weren't telling me about your deals and I'm not telling you about my deals, then we're price competing with yeah, each other. That's how you, literally just hurting ourselves, really. Yeah, we're driving up the price on each other. Yeah. But now, as as us working together, I'm working on a deal right now where uh, the the seller has multiple offers coming in from my team members. Right. So like, well, now who are you you're competing, competing with? with? Like, you're already competing with yourself. You don't need to compete with you know. You're competing with high my meets rooster vans. Like, there's a lot of us. You know what I'm saying? So you might as well hop on board. We're going somewhere amazing. We appreciate you being here, man. The friendship means a lot and the business relationship means a lot. It's been fun. Love you, man. Let's do this. Come on. Watch this YouTube video. We hope you found value. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Watch more videos just like this one.